Hello and welcome to this video. As almost every day I ride my bicycle to the place where I work and today I found this Basta bicycle lock on the street. Um, of course it uh, didn't come with a, with a key and yeah I was really excited to, to take it home and uh, to play with it to see how long it takes to get it open. Um, yeah I was excited but um, just until I started playing with it because yeah uh, to be honest it's uh, I guess it's the worst lock that I've ever picked um, and I will uh, show you what I mean so I apply tension and you can very easily sing up and pick it so all the way in pin, pin 3 and I think it's a 3 pin lock pin 3 and pin one and it's open. So I can also rock it. I can zip it. And it's open. And of course we can also rake it. So it's actually open immediately. So regarding uh, lock security, I would probably not recommend uh, this uh, this lock. Um, yeah, why do I show you this this poor little uh, bicycle lock? That's because I wanna further play with it. Um, I wanna open it up and look uh, what I can uh, what I can do with this lock. Maybe I can modify it. So let's see. Hold on. So it was very easy to get the two pieces apart. I just had to squeeze the, the lower part of the of the housing a little bit and it came off. And when I pulled out the, the, the top cover here, a lot of small pieces jumped around which came out of, of this hole here. And it's empty now. You only see a little bit of a, a brass piece which is connected to the to the plug and which moves or turns when you uh, turn the plug. And I finally managed to find them, uh, to find the pieces again on the floor, and here they are. It's the uh, locking bolt itself, which goes in like so. And then we have the spring and this top plate. Uh, which secures the, the spring, or should secure the spring. You can see that it's not really, <laughs> it's not a tight fit. And this was actually uh, held in place only by the, the top cover. So when you manage to get off this, this top cover, or uh, cut a hole in here, cut it, or whatever, um, which is, uh, I think, pretty, pretty easy, the, the, the lock just opens uh, by itself. <laughs> so not very secure also in this respective. So now we can, when I push it in all the way, we can see the, the locking bolt inside the hole here. You can see the bolt. Yeah, what else? We can now see the um, this, this, this brass piece here which um, secures the the drivers and, uh, and, and and the springs and we have a retaining pin which prevents the the plug from being pulled out and turned um, too far um, I wanna try to get off this brass piece here this top plate and maybe I can pull out the, the retaining pin and then we'll take it further apart Okay, I clamped the lock in my vise and hopefully this top plate comes out without any problems. Hold my thumb on it because I expect some springs. Yeah. yeah, we have three springs. It's a three pin lock as I already suspected. Here is the top plate. And now let's see if I can. Oh no, first I will pull out the springs.
little steel springs. Okay, let me try to pull out the retaining pin. So here are all the pieces in the slot. I finally managed to get out all of them. The retaining pin was the uh, most difficult part. First I wanted to pull it out just like so, but this didn't work and I had to enlarge the hole and then yeah, the retaining pin uh, came out by itself. So what do we have in this lock? We have the three uh, pin stacks with the springs. We have the retaining pin and the plug. Um, that's the groove for the retaining pin which uh, restricts the uh, turning angle of the of the plug and prevents the plug from uh, being pulled out. And we have this this cutout here which goes in the in the edge here of the locking bolt. So the locking bolt is uh, spring loaded with the spring and it's uh, being pushed downwards and is holding the bolt from the cable in place like so and it's connected to the plug in this groove or in this cutout and now when the plug turns locking bolt is moved upwards a little bit and is giving free uh, the bolt from the cable. So now let's have a look at the pins. <laughs> you can see interestingly the key pins are a little bit smaller from the diameter than the drivers. Um, they are tiny and they are rounded on both ends. So for the manuf manufacturing process this might be easier as they don't have to pay attention which way around they uh, put it in. And also the drivers are <laughs> rounded on both ends. So this of course makes picking a lot easier. And yeah, the tolerances in this lock are, are really bad. Just look at that. You can see the, the difference in the spacing. So from one to two there is a smaller gap than from 2 to 3 and it's made really really uh, poor. I don't know how it looks like when you insert the key pins in the holes in the chambers. You can see how much uh, how much play they have. It's it's uh, horrible. So I actually wanted to, yeah, I, I wanted to try if I could improve the picking fun a little bit by modifying chambers and pins and so. Um, but I don't think it's it's worth the effort because of when you have um, a lock with these um, bad uh, tolerances, I think you can do what you want and. Uh, you will not change the, the picking behavior behavior in a remarkable manner. Well, so then that's it. Um, that was uh, picking, so to speak, of this um, of this lock and a little bit of an autopsy. I hope you enjoyed it uh, nonetheless. Uh, uh, playing with the Buster uh, cable uh, bicycle lock. Um, Thanks for watching and happy picking. Bye bye.